<laughs> it's Clara's birthday, what? Niall, it is the start of a new week and it's already been quite interesting. So, as some of you probably know, when, when everything kicked off, um, I started getting professional help from various different organisations. Uh, everything from grief counselling to, you know, assistance with the kids and bits. I'm too dark. Um, and I've just had a meeting with the school and they are um, signing off as in I've got, I've got to a point um, that they feel there's very little else they can do that I'm doing very well um, the lady who who did it she, she lost her husband to uh, cancer quite recently as well I mean literally before Tasha passed away so she understands the emotions of, of what's been happening and uh, she, she said it's it's very nice to see me I do appear to be thriving through all of this which which is is nice to hear so yeah, makes make, makes me feel quite good. So there's very little else they can do, and on a they they do a sort of like this this number scale of one to ten. How do you feel about certain things? It's all like so kids getting to school. You know, it went up from a two. It's now at a seven. And personally, how I feel in myself is sort of like is a six. Um, but yeah, it's 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 okay, and to, and to have other people tell you that you're doing well it's it's quite reaffirming and it certainly makes me certainly makes me feel good that being said we're now through august we're into september this is sort of like the anniversary of where it all started to go wrong so and i know that february's coming up So let's see how I feel in a, in a few months. They said whilst the fact they're closing, they still they're still there for contact. So I've still got, you know, the ability to talk to people if I need to, and I have a feeling I will. But not right now. Instead, so I'm going to go and get a well-deserved caramel macchiato. Got me a new mug. But no, as for everything else that's been happening this week, I mean, the major bit was obviously Clara's birthday. It was interesting. Yeah, it's not been too bad. You know, getting her a couple of presents, and we've had some delivered, and I actually found one. Which I really wasn't expecting. Been pre bought, it's. Well, it's this. And I thought they put it in the package upside down. But no, quite literally, it's, it's the Stranger Things My Little Pony. So intentionally, it's upside down. If you look at the apples on the back, they're upside down if it's the right way up, which is pretty damn cool. I don't get it! I also got to add another sticker to my wall of stickers. I'll show you what I mean. So when you go to the school, you have to get a sticker with your picture on. So far, I've managed to not get a great photo every single time intentionally. Uh, I'm just covering up. There's some numbers there that I'm not going to let you see. But yeah, so this is just a sample of my uh, my stickers. And I try and get as many as possible with as few photos as I can. I think I'm doing quite well. I think this week's also given me a lot of time to be retrospective about everything you know I'm, I'm looking back and seeing stuff that's happened I'm looking forward and wondering what's going on in the future and and it's weird I mean I totally totally get it. you can't go back you've always got to move forward 
But I think back to things like lockdown. You know, we, we lost so much time over quarantine. You know, we had a two-week lockdown that lasted two years, basically. And so much changed. And, and it sucks, because I know that there's friendships I lost in that time, just because, you, you know, you spend so long going, yeah, I'll get back in touch with them later, and you never do. And then you have a point where you have no choice, and you actually physically can't see anyone. That gets to you after a while. You know, and, and I know that there are people out there who I never had the chance to speak to, who I know I'm never going to see again. There are people out there who just want to say, I love you, and now you don't get the chance. And there is one that I've finally actually got around to saying goodbye to. I finally accepted accepted it and I know I'm but it's letting me grow and move on but in that vein I've also tried reaching out to people and I've also now I've spoken to someone I haven't spoken to for many years and it's interesting hearing about family, children, jobs, you know, house moves, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I reached out. It's made me happy. Just gotta keep it up now. Under 100 days left till Christmas. I still no idea what the hell I'm doing. But for now, I'm on my way to get my regularly scheduled weekly cup of coffee. And uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>